we all have a bit of me. Flipping the box and like some flies came out and I was like, oh. Good morning guys. Yeah. As you know, I'm in New Zealand, I'm on lockdown and um, my partner also has to work. So I'm trying to keep myself busy. So I thought I'd vlog today. So I've had a busy morning, as busy as that can be. I accidentally did all my jobs for the week in one morning. So that wasn't great, but I'm turning it back now. I'm trying to do less. <laughs> So I changed the bedding, I did the bins, I cleaned the bins, I cleaned the coffee machine, I did some washing up, I've run out of fingers. Um, <laughs> um, what else did I do? Oh, that was the other thing. I had some deliveries of packages. So I got one parcel that was like a surprise for my partner. I got another parcel that was... Sephora, hello. And the third was, what was the last third? Oh, it was sausages that my partner had ordered. Man, did he get excited. He loves a bit of meat. Who doesn't? We all have a bit of meat. Um, <laughs> so they were meant to come on Thursday last week. It is now Tuesday. I got the box and then it smelled funny and I was like, maybe they like disinfected the boxes or something. I was being a positive little Sally. Nope, turned out the sausages were off. I opened the box and like some flies came out and I was like, oh, let's keep that shut. He called the company who gave them to him and they sorted out another box which is coming tomorrow, so. <laughs> I'm very excited about some sausages. Back to the point, keeping busy, that was it. Yeah, so I've done like a load of washing. I hung that up. I did the bedding. I really like re-bedded the bed. <laughs> That's awful English. Have you missed me? I bet you've missed this. And now um, I am going to do my nails because they look okay from afar, but they are actually like flicking off underneath. So these are my own nails, but they're covered in S&N um, dip powder. I bought the dip kit, which has not arrived yet. I'm just gonna take off the old one because it's all like flicking up and my hair is getting caught underneath it at the top. Ladies out there, if you have your nails done, you know what I mean. It gets caught under your nail and then you rip it out and then you're slightly bored and you're confused and maybe slightly concussed, I don't know. But <laughs> it's just not what I'm living for right now. My nails are really, really thin, which is why I've put the dip powder over the top to protect them, which has been doing a great job, but it does mean that your nails underneath are looking like a pile of cuck if I'm honest with you guys. I also have my order from Sephora like right here in front of me. <laughs> I'm um, really excited about this tiny, tiny box. I just thought we're going through so much, like my family at home are going through a lot. It just all, it sucks a little bit, let's be honest. We're not gonna like pretend this is all okay. It could be a lot worse and I'm very grateful for what I have and I'm very blessed in many ways, but it also sucks. So I decided to treat myself because I can and I feel like all of you guys should too. If there's something that you've seen that you can actually get your hands on online, Go and bloody get it, like, you only live once. Just go and go treat yourself to something nice. So this is my array of crap that I'm gonna take my nails off with. Foil, cotton pad, soak them in the acetone, and then wrap the foil around my nail. This is like a little pushy stick thingy, which you like poke around your nails to clean that up. Up to like a, you know, one of these. Real fun to use. Really sharp, really, really sharp. We need to be careful with that one. <laughs> uh, scares me a bit. And then I've got two nail files. One is more coarse than the other. This is so difficult. One-handed. There's a slight chance um, I'm filming this a day later. So I did my nails yesterday and it took longer than I thought it would, as always. So I just decided to finish this video today. And also, I have a Sephora order here, which I really wanted to show you guys. And I felt that some of the products would fit in with my crap, crap nails, so. I don't have any makeup or cream or anything on my face at the moment because there's stuff in the box I want to use so I thought Oh my gosh, let's do that Let's try a new stuff I swear the washing machine is getting loud, like it's just trying to like make a point like I'm helping too, I'm doing things too Such a show off so My nails are done, I basically soaked them in acetone Then I used a file to like get the last bits off Then I buffed them out to make them nice and like, you know Smooth. Then I put a base coat of clear on and then I put some colour on. So yeah, that's them. That's that's the situation. So back to my very exciting box. Oh my gosh. I put this Sephora order in maybe, what did I order this? A week ago, I think. And in New Zealand, they have Sephora. Oh, this box makes me look well turned. Uh, so Sephora, basically, uh, they have the stores here. There's one shop I've seen in Central Auckland. I'm not sure if there's any others. I know there's not many, but they do have shops here. But this was actually shipped in from Australia because that's where the factories are. Thank you, Australia. Thank you for sending my love. I don't know how Sephora is still um, running in this situation, but to be honest, I need face cream. And um, that's essential because otherwise Alice is going to have a crusty ass face or she's going to have to use like veg oil or something, you know, you have to adapt to the times. 
This is the most exciting thing that's happened to me in three solid weeks, so I made this order up because I needed face cream and a liquid eyeliner. And I forgot the liquid eyeliner. Man, was I annoyed when I realized. So Sephora let you have two freebies per order if you order over $30 worth, I think it is. Don't hold that to me. I ain't sure. So the first freebie I got was the Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Moisturizer from Peter Thomas Roth. Um, really excited to try this one. Next thing I got was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. I've heard a lot about the Radiance Concealer. The next thing I got is a Sephora product itself. And this is the Instant Moisture. Why can't I say moisture? Moisture. Moisture. Instant Moisture Plus Cream with Hyaluronic Acid Booster. I like Hyaluronic Acid. It gets rid of redness and blotchiness. And as you can see, I scar really easily from like my spots. So this will just get rid of the redness, even skin tone, hello. Also, it's a Moisture Plus, meaning it's usually quite a liquidy texture, which I like. I don't like my face creams feeling like I'm trapped in my own face and I'm in that film face off. It's not okay. The packet always smells like the product with hand creams and face creams. It's not still like do you do that thing when you're like, oh? No. We need to be more careful. Do you do that thing when you squeezy, really, really light squeezy? Squeezy, squeezy, just to get the smell. Sometimes it shoots up your nose and it's like a little hello, but not today, we got lucky. I'm actually gonna put this on in a minute, but there's another product in the box I wanna try as well, so put that there for later. Um, I'm not gonna keep the box. We don't need it. I'm not sending it back. <laughs> the next thing I have is charcoal nose strips. I love these, I've not tried this brand before, but man, I'm so excited. I'm gonna force my boyfriend to try one with me. Yeah. It's that feeling of if it gets stuck on my nose and it's really painful to rip off. I want him to feel that pain too. I want him to know what it feels like. The next thing I got is a Claudel spray and this is a grape water. Now, not only did it sound delicious to me, then I, I love grapes. I spray my sponge before I blend and I wanted something I could just like spritz on my face on a day I'm not wearing makeup just to like, you know, make it a bit wet. Soothes, moisturises, just for sensitive skin. Oh, it smells like an actual bummer. Are you meant to shake it? I mean, any structural windows would be great right now. It doesn't, it doesn't say. It do Maybe you're not meant to shake it, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it smells a lot better than the packaging does. <laughs> Thank Jesus. Feels nice and moisturising, feels wet. I can actually see like the pores on my hand have gone nice and like flat and smooth and happy whereas these are crusty and old and sad. The next thing I got is from The Inky List and this is just a nice like neutral brand and this is a face serum. I was just going to read it as Visage but that's just French for face. I want something to help nourish my face. Also this has leaked a little bit through the package so I'm hoping it's not like everywhere in here. No, we could. I think it was just a push. Uh, it's one of those push up lids, so obviously it got pushed up. In transit. Just a cute little. Oh, it tells me how to use it on the back. Sorry, I got distracted. I really want to use some, but I'm going to show you my last product in the box first. So I'm going to use the serum, then I'm going to use the moisturizer, then you'll see my fresh face and be like, oh, who's that? The last product I got not only because it looked pretty, but it also had um, a relevance to my shonky nails. If you're not from England and you don't know what the word shonky means, it's just like a bit trampy, like don't be such a shonk. It's really not used as much as it should be. It's a beautiful word. Bring on the shonk. Anyone, comment below with the word shonky in a sentence for me. We'll make my bleeding day. This is the last product. This is a cuticle oil from Sephora. Again, their own brand. It's just called Nourishing Cuticle Care. It's the most beautiful cuticle oil I've ever seen in my life. But also, my nails are disgusting. In comes beautiful product number five. One, two, three, four, five. I can count. I'm learning so much being in isolation, and I? You can't really see. I'm gonna try and shine my phone through it. It's only gone on work. Sorry, I just got a glimpse into the future. Okay, I'm gonna hold the dropper, the pipette, pipette. Hold the pipette, you see that? Oh, it's like a freaking disco in here. The discotheque has started. What I'm trying to show you <laughs> is that there's little beads in there. It looks a bit like a cute bubble tea. Pea sized amount. It smells like a little bit of yogurt. Delightful. Okay, so I'm literally, oh, that is the softest thing ever. Okay. Do not lick this product. It's 
not taste good. I'm just gonna put the last bit on my neck, like the last bits on my hands, because people always forget their neck in life, you know? And then the neck is the bit that goes old fast, and I'm not okay with that. It feels really nice, it just feels really nourishing and not too oily. Don't put it on your lips. Do not, do not lick your lips after you've used this. The next thing I want to do is pop on some of this face cream. I don't use too much face cream, I think that's a bit too much. I'm going to suck it back up. I'm going to write pigs here with this. That feels so nice, so I've just finished rubbing it in. It feels quite like silky soft. I'm really impressed with that. It smells slightly floral. But it's still quite neutral it doesn't smell like too too heavy like sometimes if a product smells too much i don't want to smear on my face i feel like i feel like quite glowy feels nice and even doesn't look no red patches no nothing i'm really happy with that so that is everything that i got from sephora i think i'm going to leave the video here because it could be quite long because of the stuff i'm adding from yesterday as well but thank you so so much for watching i hope you are all well and you're staying safe uh, look after yourselves in this time and i'll see you all soon bye guys